Okay, this is John from Clock Repairs Merseyside. This is the uh, final uh, video uh, of this uh, doing clock uh, silvering a clock down. Okay, just going to put my rubber gloves on. Obviously, wearing the rubber gloves is simply to stop any uh, you know grease coming off your hands and ruining the silvering. Right, anyway we've moved on a little bit with this clock. The movement now is actually being cleaned in pieces. We're going to be making the bushes soon uh, on that particular clock. I wish I could do a video of that but it's just so difficult to set up camera work in the other workshop to with the, where the lathe is. Maybe I'll, I'll get that done at some point and we'll be, I'll have, uh, be able to do uh, videos in every workshop so we can cover a lot more things anyway what we've actually done I'll just move that aside for now we've actually completed this part of the clock and as you can see you know it looks pretty it looks pretty decent it's worked out quite well and that's been um, that's been lacquered and And everything else, the uh, actual things just fell off for me. I never get that in Yeah, so that's been done. Small dial's been done. The spandrels have been um, cleaned up. So now, where the dial's concerned, the, the date aperture is done. That's been cleaned. It doesn't look too bad at all. Um, far superior to what it was. So yeah, everything's you know really looking great on that. Quite happy with the way that's turned out. Um, yeah. There you go. So I'll put that aside for now. I'll just get you the this is just the the thing on its own not so bad a little bit of discoloration there I mean as, as I say as I've said in other videos I mean it's really you don't want to overdo it you, you, you know you really want to um, just get it you know very best results you can but yeah there's that done anyway Right, so now we're onto the dial. Okay, and as you can see, the dial has been pretty much cleaned off. Now, what I'm going to do before I start is what I'll what I'll do. I'll I'll do first. I'll show you how I do it. Right, we I use these lids uh, off the ice cream tubs. We use, and I put some silver and powder on there, and then I'll put some water. Now, I get I favour using just this. This is not like spring water obviously I've drank this water and I've just filled the bottles up now I have three bottles off and I use them just to rinse off uh, the stuff right off you know rather than steep it in bowls and stuff like that which is a lot bit more, it's more of an inconvenience for me so me rinsing it off like this and then drying it it's fine I mean as you can see the results of the other dial so there's no problem with that it's the method I use uh, you can use whatever method suits you uh, now as regards the silver and powder, I use, we can get it in focus, I use this type of silver and powder, I find it, it's on, on eBay, I've also used Andrew's silver and powder, excellent product, I've actually spoken to Andrew at one time, nice guy, uh, give you advice, no problem whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the one I'm using at the present minute in time. It's not not that it's better than Andrews or any other stuff. I don't know. Um, I was using this Priory Polishes finishing powder. These also do um, the silver and powder as well. So you know you can get like a you know a two-way thing. But as I was saying to you before about the um, cream of tartar, I mean I've gone. And bought a bit of this off off Amazon. Cream of tartar, 
perfect for baking, increasing stability, and um, that's cream of tartar, one kilogram, and you'll find that's a lot cheaper. But again, it's entirely up to you. You use what you want. Right now, what I'll do now is oh yes, on last but certainly not least is these um, cotton wool pads. I prefer cotton wool pads simply because I just find there's a lot less stuff coming off them than cotton wool so you know things don't go in. Now what I'll do is before I start I'll, I'll wipe the dial over I'll just give it a you know a wipe over just give it a wipe over just to you know, take if there's just anything that's been there because it's been overnight, so you know, just in case anything's come on. Now, I, you can sort of see obviously a bit of black, but that could be the, the elephant wax. Get inside your numbers, just Do that. Now I have about four of these lids. Uh, it's just a lot. It's just convenient. So what I'll do is I get my silver and powder. Give it a shake. Break it up. Give it a shake. Okay, break it up. Right. The other thing about silver and powder is you're better off keeping it into a dark area. That's why you'll see the tubs that you you know you can't. The, the silver and powder goes wrong if you if it's exposed to light too much. Right. So I'll put an amount on there. I won't put too much on because obviously you know you don't want to um, be wasting it because it's not not really that cheap. Being honest. And then also what I'll do, on that same tray, well, I mean, you could use another tray if you wanted, but I'll just put, well, no, actually, I'll use another tray. I'll put a small amount of water. Now, what you want to try to do is you just wet the pad. Fold it over, wet your pad, dip it in the silver and powder. And I've obviously got the dial at 12 o'clock, if you like. Um, and I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. And adjust the camera so we can get a nice angle of it. As I say, you know, all my videos are done on there. Um, so you can see what's happening, hopefully. Okay, so I've got my dial set to 12 o'clock. So a little bit of water, silver and powder. And I just start going round in a circle. Like that. a bit more now don't make it too wet because it works it, 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 it doesn't work as well it, you know you you, you, you want to give it a good coating of silver and powder you know make sure you work it well into the area of where you are Obviously I'm coming anti-clockwise round. And as you can probably see by the camera, we're already it's already changing, isn't it? It's already you're already getting a, a thing in it. You know, inspect it. I mean again, you know, I don't know whether you, you know the more you put on, 
the more silver it's it's going to be to a limit obviously I mean you can only get to a limit but this is how I do this is how I do it's now 8 o'clock in the morning any minute probably the phone could ring people will start coming in Steve's on his way in and I'll just go over the area A bit of one of it. And then just, you know, pay close attention to the edges, edges of your chapter ring. Pay close attention. As you can see, it's really coming out nice. it round, a bit more water, again, obviously you're going to and obviously you're just inspecting it, you want it to look the same all the way round You know, as you're doing this, sometimes you'll see a, a like you get like a blue tinge as it's changing colour. You're going round in that circle like that. As I say, play close attention to your edge, so you know where you are. At midday, you can come round. Okay, now a bit more silver and powder. Don't need as much. Dip of water. Oh, a bit sorry. I'm just trying to keep it consistent, so although, although I'm sure there'll be little differences, but um, you know, it's going to look a hundred times better than it did, and surely that's the whole point. As you work the, the silver and powder in, you can see it it actually becoming more and more silver I'm just working it in As you can see it's changing to a silver dial quite nicely. It's not a comp it's not complicated this this job. I mean it's 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 more a little bit of preparation. Um and having a try and being prepared that if it goes wrong you know you're gonna have to get it right I'm just working it in okay got a bit more water pads becoming quite thin now quite 
damp and soggy I mean you don't want to get to the point where the pad is completely falling to pieces because then you'll you'll have a, a situation of uh, you know obviously it'll go on the dial but you know you can just see you can, as you look you can just see the dial you might not pick it up on camera but you can just see on the dial it changes colour always pay close attention as I say to the edges the edges is where you know have a check come off light have a little look and see is it uniform keep going round around the edge again have a look check your dial out see what's going on looks relatively uniform just mop up the last bits of the silver and powder because that was pretty accurate to where we were and I'll just go all the way around the dial in the same direction so start off from the outer edge and come in That should be pretty uniform as I say, keep checking. If you need more silver and powder, use a bit more. And I'll just leave that now for a minute. And uh, go from there. And then what I'd be doing is I'd just be swilling that off with one of my bottles of water and then I'll put the cream of tartar on um, so that's just dangerous for a moment so we've done about 17 minutes now on the video as you can see um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to Swill that off, I'm going to stop my camera for a moment, I'm going to swill that off and then I'll be back in a second when it's all swilled off and ready to put the cream of tartar on. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, this is John from Clock Repairs, Mate, I'm just back again. Right, same sort of situation as before, um, an amount of cream of tartar. Little amount of water. And pretty much go through exactly the same procedure with your cream of tartar. Just go all the way round. You don't really have to rub as hard and, and stuff, it's just really to neutralise the, the water as far as I'm aware. Go around paying attention to your edges again. go with that again leave it for a few minutes or so and then 
we'll swirl it off and then then we're going to dry it and it's going to take a bit of time to dry and I'm going to go off camera again and I'm going to leave the dial for about half an hour and uh, then I'm going to look at it again because then there probably will be some kind of watermarks and stuff but we can now that the dial's silvered them in literally there on the top we can just wipe them off with a pad and then when it stops doing that then I'll then give it a coat of lacquer uh, I'm going to try and get pretty much everything um, on on the camera uh, and then I think I may do another video if I get a chance today uh, well, I'm showing the uh, clock movement but Steve's on his way in and he's actually working on that so whether um, he's going to put it together or not and I want to go through a few things of of cleaning them and and things which I, I think I think it's a handy situation to know and I'll just give you my again everything's my my idea uh, of what I like or the way I do it rather not my idea the way I do it and so you know maybe interesting to some people uh, if they want to clean these clock movements up um, anyway so I'm just going to go off and well I'm not going to go off camera this time we've got we're okay I'm just going to get our bottle of water I'm going to swill off or rinse off rather for those more posher people should we say I'm just going to rinse off I just put a paper towel down really it's more to absorb the absorb any water and then what I'll do now is I'll wipe most of the um, excess water off with that, um, another pad and I'll just go around that go inside the numbers and I'll just dry it as much as I can as I say paying attention to the edges obviously water is going to be on the edges as you're going around as well check your numerals good thing about these pads they're really cheap and a shot now what I'll do now is I'll just give it a little uh, blast with my air dryer right you know I won't go mad because obviously again you know we've talked in other videos about wax I mean you don't want to make it too hot and it probably wouldn't melt it but you know don't take things for granted just so as you can see I think that looks pretty decent I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the full picture okay that looks pretty decent so I'll just give it a quick with the air dryer so you hear the air dryer in the background It 
really is just light, light. It's, it's not nice. I'd be able to get this on shot for me, yeah. Right, so as I say, have your dial at 12 o'clock because uh, it just seems be a better a plan to me because I can see what's happening. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to again, I'm just going to keep drying it. I, w I want it to keep dry because you will see watermarks and you want to try to get rid of all that before you do any lacquering. Um, because obviously once it's lacquered, I mean, that's it really, isn't it? But that's that. As you can see, bits of water always come off. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually leave it for a bit, and I want the I want the marks to appear. I actually start seeing some already, but I, it's not. There's not a lot. You may not pick them up on camera, but you know I can see them, and uh, I don't want to lacquer it and then then marks be there. So I'd sooner get it to the best I can, as dry as I can. Which they literally are watermarks. Once the, once the dial's silvered, I mean, you know, pretty much, obviously you've got to understand, you know, I mean, when you're taking your, your, your um, silvering off, you, you know, you've got to sand it off, haven't you? So you, 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 your silvering's now pretty permanent, isn't it? And I just keep doing that, and that's what we do. Right round the edge. So again, I'm going to pop off for a few minutes, and um, I'm going to come back then. Uh, you can actually start seeing. Can you see some of the streaking there? Just keep wiping it, wiping it off, and eventually it won't be there. Just keep wiping it off. Now the other thing that I can see with the numerals is there's a, there's a little bit of marking on them. Now I'm going to have a think about that. I might use a little tiny bit of Indian ink with that. I think that's a residue. I don't know. I don't think it's actually loss. Uh, but you really always have got to work along the sympathetic line with them. You know, so you know you don't want to go crazy with it. And remember, you know your you, your black shading could be different to what the shading is on the numerals. I mean, you know, there's a, you know shading of black, and so you know you be a little bit careful because you end up having to do everything. So just be a bit careful. You know, think is this okay to leave? You know. Is this, you know, what it is? I mean, people expect, I mean, a clock that's seven, you know, 200 and over 250 years old. I mean, you know, it just, it, 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 it's not, it's not, you know, it's not going to be perfect, not a chance of it. I mean, it's been through a couple of world wars. It's been being here, there and everywhere, being all probably around the country. I mean, you know, maybe, I don't know, through a couple of auction houses, maybe. Um, some people do actually know where the clocks uh, come coming from, and uh, incidentally, uh, Jeff's mother-in-law and we also done a clock for that clock's been in their family for, for you know easily a hundred years, and so she knows, and Sheila is is uh, you know over you know 
getting on in time now, so she she knows it's been there. Uh, so she she knows the history of that clock for the last hundred years or so. But anyway, uh, this is that was my take on how to do that dial, and I think you can agree it's turned out pretty nice up to now. Um, let's just see what the next half hour brings. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for a minute. Uh, some people actually uh, recommend leaving it overnight and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I, sometimes I've got to take, you know, have a judgment call and say, well, I'm going to lacquer it now and see what happens. Uh, and then, obviously, the lacquer is only light, as you know, I thin it down, uh, so it's only a light coat of lacquer. So I'll put a coat on, see what happens, then, and then before it all goes back together, its final push, I'll uh, lacquer it again. But anyway, this is John from Clock Repairs Merseyside. I'm going to sign off for about 20 minutes or so. And I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, this is John. I'm back again. Right. I've just been over the dial and I've checked out uh, the numerals, and there's very, very little. There was a few, few blemishes. So what I actually done was I used this type of Indian ink type pen. Now the reason I favour Indian ink rather than permanent marker, although permanent marker is okay, don't get me wrong, some people use it and I've got nothing to say about that whatsoever, is that I find when I, you know, move it in, I can actually wipe it over and it spreads evenly then. And so you don't get this effect of where you, you know, you, you've got lines and stuff in it where someone can see you've used a pen. Um, I mean, there was very little loss on this particular chapter ring so that was okay I can actually see some places where there's you know just a slight different shape but I'm not going to do nothing about that and the reason being is that again we're at that situation where it looks more natural looks more aged and you know keep it that way also I don't know if you can pick up on camera see these blemishes well they'll just wipe off and don't be afraid to you know just rub them off you know, you're not going to move the silver enough now. I mean, unless you really, really, really rub hard and maybe need some sandpaper. But, you know, pretty much now, don't be afraid. And what I will say about silver and dials is that's particularly it. Don't be afraid. Have a go. What's the worst that can happen? You'd have to sand it off again. And that, that is it, really, isn't it? Should have put my gloves on. By this time, I'd use another pair of gloves. I took my gloves off to put the gloves on and then forgot about you know, one of the things. I can't see in uh, the 17th century, you know, 18th century people being as thing as what we are now. I wouldn't have thought so anyway. So, but we'll follow follow the rules or consensus or whatever. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, little few marks. So just keep just keep wiping, and eventually. You know, you'll get to a point and you'll feel, yeah, you know what, I'll give that a silver. Keep going. Keep going. You see, that's looking pretty consistent with everything now. So you'd have your dial. And what? So you had your dial. So uh, zoom out a wee bit. Let's zoom for some reason. That's pretty much it. And it looks it doesn't look too bad to me. Looks pretty decent. Quite happy with it. all the way out apparently so one final wipe it's going over all the numbers 
making sure there's no more moisture also there's going to be moisture in the air as well so you know remember don't be worried about giving it a rub So I'm going to give this a, a, a lacquer now. Now the lacquer I use is that particular stuff. Um, I don't get any money off these people, but you know, that's, that's what it is. I mean, that, that seems to do the job. Give it a shake, because you put thinners in it. I'll tell you one thing though, the top's always a bit weird to get off. one of these safety things on it but, you know something's not right there but and it might, might, might have broken or something right so the same the same sort of thing again you're going to put some lacquer on your pad and from the outer edge just go round and come in We're just giving it a think of for now because we're going to see should there be any more blemishes. Let's roll it to the light, have a little look. But that's pretty, pretty. I can't see any places, but yeah, it's only a thin layer of lacquer. As I say, because of anything else, I'm just going to pull it off. And when I'm really happy, <coughs> excuse me, I'll give it a, a proper coat of lacquer. Anyway, this is John from Clock Repairs Merseyside. I hope you enjoyed these videos. As I say, if you did, give me a like and a subscribe. Maybe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, I'm going to try and do many more videos. I'm going to try and keep them interesting, as I say, you know, things are very useful. Um, but yeah, but there's there's that dial there, as I say. I don't think it looks too bad at all. Uh, let it dry off, see what it's like, and then give it another coat. And should, should you need to get the lacquer off, I mean, for any reason if you find a bump or a blemish maybe use really really light sandpaper you know over a thousand twelve hundred fifteen hundred something like that just give it a light sand see what it's like but again it's all about having a go um, and I'm sure you'll be fine get used to it it's not the hardest job in the world we've done absolutely hundreds of them now um, so you know it's uh, it's pretty decent so this is John Clock Repairs Merseyside see you again soon thanks <laughs>